Okay, this is applications of principles of conservation of momentum. During firefighting, eh, okay, you will find that sometimes, eh, sometimes um, uh, there are a group of firefighters holding the hose, okay, holding the hose of uh, this the, the water hose, eh, okay. Uh, that is because why, okay? You see, eh, uh, water come out from the hose, okay. So, uh, so it has a forward momentum. The water coming out from the hose has high momentum. Okay, if if the speed of the water is very high, so it has a high momentum. Uh, so, so therefore, uh, according to the this uh, principles of conservation of momentum, uh, it will generate a backward momentum. Okay, uh, since the forward momentum is very high, okay, so then we need to have a high backward momentum also. Okay, and to to withstand to withstand this uh, high backward momentum eh? so we need to have a group of firefighters to hold the hose okay or else eh, uh, the momentum is too high that it will push the firefighter backwards so therefore several men are needed to hold the hose firmly uh, another case is a jellyfish okay you usually uh, this seldom come out in exam huh? the jellyfish eh? okay this just come out in certain uh, this uh, reference book okay the applications of principles of conservation of momentum in the motions of a jellyfish yeah? so the jellyfish move in water by applying the principles of conservation of momentum uh, so when jellyfish want to move it will push the water backwards by using uh, its body so it move and it push the water backwards uh, so these actions produces a backward momentum eh? okay because there's water move backwards eh? so it produces a backward momentum and according to the principles of conservation of momentum, it will generate uh, a forward momentum uh, equal magnitude, eh, but in the opposite directions. Okay, uh, and this make and this will, will, will helps the jellyfish to move forwards. Okay, uh, this is like the case of explosions. Eh? Okay, the case of explosions. Uh, so this momentum will act on the jellyfish and uh, push the bodies of the jellyfish to move forwards. Eh? Okay. Now for rocket, eh? uh, actually it's about the same as the jellyfish. So rockets, uh, it carry fuel. We are going to discuss what what's, what's the fuel that it carries uh, later. Okay. So it carry fuel, and then um, uh, the fuel is a mixture of hydrogens and oxygens. Eh? Okay. So when the fuel is burns explosively in combustion chambers uh, so the exhaust gas so the the uh, jets of hot gases are expelled at a very high speed through the exhaust eh? so the gas come out from the exhaust um, so this this high speed hot gas we will produce a uh, large amounts of momentum backwards so it produce a backward momentum it's a very high ma high magnitudes momentum okay and that's according to the principles of conservation of momentum. Okay, it will produce a forward momentum to push the rockets move upwards. Okay, uh, so that is uh, how the rockets apply this uh, conservation of momentum uh, to move in uh, outer space. Okay. Um. Okay, you can you can uh, go to this uh, YouTube video, eh? okay, uh, to watch the explanations of this uh, rockets examples. Okay, I will upload the slides, eh? and then uh, here you cannot click. Okay, I will upload the slides for you, and then you click on this uh, link eh? to see the YouTube video. Uh, there are some important things that you need to know about the rockets. Eh? Okay. Uh, first of all, you need to know that there are two tank, two tank in these rockets. Eh? Okay, one is liquid hydrogens. So the fuel is the liquid hydrogens, huh? liquid hydrogens. And another one is uh, oxygen tank. Uh, uh, we have this oxygen tank is because the rockets, huh? the rocket will move in outer space. And in outer space, there is no oxygens. And combustions need oxygens. We, we must have oxygens to burn the hydrogens. Huh? So it need to carry the oxygen tank. Okay, so uh, all combustions need oxygens. So, however, oxygen is not present in the outer space, 
and uh, therefore a rocket needs to carry oxygens by itself to support combustions uh, that is the difference between rockets and uh, this uh, jet airplanes okay <clears throat> so uh, so the fuel and the oxygens uh, okay will pump to this uh, combustion chamber so the fuel mixed with the liquid oxygen and burns in the combustion chamber and then the hot air is forced out from exhaust at a high speed. Okay, there's another things that you need to know. Because this question may come out in essay. Yeah? Okay, may come out in essay. So in essay, there's a lot of points that you need to present. So uh, so you need to know this. Huh? Okay. Uh, the principle is about the same. Huh? Principle is about the same. Uh, just, just a little bit difference huh, between these jet airplanes and uh, rockets okay so this is a jet engine huh? for in jet engines there's a compressor there's a compressor uh, so there's a fan here so the air is taken in from the front okay that's the difference between uh, rocket and jet airplanes so rockets you go to outer space it has no air no oxygen so it has to carry its own oxygen huh? but for jet airplanes so uh, so he don't need this Okay, because you can take the oxygens uh, from the the atmosphere. Okay, uh, uh, the the engine is here. Okay, so you see, so this is the place where it take in the uh, the air. Okay, it take in the air here. Okay, so uh, so the the fan. Okay, will spin and then so it will uh, suck the air into the this engine. Okay, and then so. Uh, in this compressor okay the air is compressed to uh so that's the the, the pressure become very very high okay so to compressor compress the air to increase the pressure okay and then so after the air is compressed uh, uh the fuel is injected and burns with the compressed air here this is the combustion chamber okay so you see the air is compressed before it burned together with the fuel here okay uh, when the fuel is burned together with this compressed air okay so it will expand it will expand and then uh, it will be ejected out from the back with a very very high momentum okay with very high momentum so it will generate a very high backward momentum okay and uh, at the same times it will produce an equal uh, uh, equal means the magnitude is equal, uh, equally high forward momentum, okay, but in the opposite directions uh, and make these jet A planes move forward, okay, make it move forward. Uh. Okay, so that is the working principles of rockets and jet A planes. Uh. Now, rocket and jet A planes are famous questions in exam, okay, the jellyfish and the firefighter actually is a uh, uh, it's not so important. Huh? Usually, it will come out in objective questions. The jellyfish and the firefighters, huh? it will come out in objective questions. Uh, for this uh, rocket and jet airplanes, it may come out in essay questions. Okay? It may come out in essay questions. And sometimes it's in a uh, structure question and sometimes in essay questions. Usually, it's in essay questions. Okay? And uh, so, so you must know this. Huh? 